The colon health is something that is completely neglected today. If you do not keep your colon clean, keeping your mind in a balanced state is very, very difficult. So in Ayurveda and Siddha, first thing, if you say anything, you are having sleepless nights, you are having uh, disturbed something, mild, any kind of psychological problems, first thing is purging. Purge the system, clean the colon, suddenly you feel little balanced. It is not a whole solution, but it'll bring the basic ne necessary atmosphere in the body to make the corrections, either with medicine or with necessary practices, you can bring about correction. A yogi is always supposed to, you know, uh, have bowel movement twice a day. See? Twice a day. <laughs> because the colon should be always clean. If you want to do certain sadhana, colon should be clean. And we know this, that if the colon is in a, a certain level of impurity or if a certain level of waste material are in the colon, and we do certain yogic practices, the body will start animating bad smell. And it also gets into your head, for sure. So it is directly connected. If you retain the shit, it gets into your head and messes up your life in so many different ways. So the impurities in the body should go as quickly as possible. I, I feel a whole lot of doctors are saying you must eat as often as possible, don't eat a big meal, eat every two hours, something like this. See, when the food is in the stomach bag, not in the intestine, when it's in the stomach bag, when the digestive process is on, mm. on the cellular level, the purification will not happen. Mm. The cells will retain impurities for long period because digestive process is happening means everything else is brought down, yeah. including your brain. Yeah. So, in yogic system, there must be a minimum of six to eight hours gap between one meal and the next. If that is not possible, at least four to five hours, five hours space is a must. Mm. Less than that means you're causing trouble to yourself. So in the yoga center, the day starts with a small marble-sized ball of neem and turmeric. There are many aspects to this, of what impact it has on your system. But first of all, the neem tree, which is generally all over India, Today, probably bring, being grown in another ten to twelve different geographical locations around the world, but originally, by nature, indigenous to Indian subcontinent, he is one of the most complex leaves that you can find on the planet. What the neem does to your system? Well, in more tangible terms, one immediate thing it will do is, it will keep your alimentary tract clean. When we say clean, this is a region, this whole digestive process is a region where you have maximum amount of uh, other life. So within this alimentary tract, there are a whole host of microorganisms. Many of them have turned friendly to us. We are living because of them, we are able to digest food because of them. Many, many functions in the body happen because of them. But still there are many who are harmful to us. The uniqueness of neem, especially when it is taken along with turmeric, If these two things go together, 
largely those things which are not necessary for the body, those things can… that which can harm the body, any kind of parasital life which is there, all these things get eliminated. From 15th of December to 15th of January, this one month, because of very diminished influence of sun upon the northern hemisphere, a certain inertia tends to settle into all that is physical. The physical aspect of life tends to go into your inertia mode. When the solar influence is at the minimal, diminishing influence, diminished influence, inertia sets in, when inertia sets in, one of the consequences is your colon will not be clean. The simplest thing is this, that you keep the lymphatic system up, then keeping the colon will happen. There is something called as trifala. It's a magical three fruits of tropical world. Mixing them in the right way, the trifala, with a little bit of water or a spoon of milk or something, if you take it or even honey, if you take it, the cleansing in the system will happen, it's... But if you can't find all this, in southern India, we found one magic, this is called as castor oil. Just a little bit half a spoon of castor oil every day in the night, warm it, put it in water or milk and drink it up. You will see your colon remains clean and your lymphatic system gets active because the inertia levels in the body will go down. Mm -hmm.